What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is May 28th, Thursday. Before we jump into the platform, just want to give you a little insight into something that will be coming your way that I think is absolutely going to blow your socks off. So for the last several months, I've been looking at some shorter duration trade, like intraday trading. And some things that I used to use and then some new things that I've put together and it's extremely, extremely powerful. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little while. So don't. Uh, I may be a little early jumping the gun and even sharing this with you because you're gonna be too excited. You can't barely stand it, but you should be because it's it's pretty awesome. A couple things. One, we're trading options. We are trading in the first 90 minutes of the day. So we're talking about. I'm central time. So we're talking about 8.30 a.m. and we're done at 10 10 a.m. So it's not like something where you're sitting in front of your screen all day, kind of waiting for something to happen. I mean, it is literally you're taking trades in the first 30, 60, as late as 90 minutes of the day, and then you're done. I started off, you know, just kind of really trying to hone in the, the rules. As you guys know, we like to be very mechanical with our trades, have very specific criteria for which we enter and exit and manage trades. And so I've been really trying to, to kind of test and really create those rules. So it's not, it's not ready yet. Obviously, there's going to be a full-blown course, step-by-step details on this. You know, I've been trading it pretty consistently the same way for the last... I don't know, a month or so. And and I've just been slowly kind of scaling up my size as I'm trading. I mean, here's literally from Memorial Day was Monday. So this is Tuesday. This is Wednesday. And th- this was this morning. So and just to give you an idea, I mean, the most capital that I had at play at any one given time, I actually used more this morning. It, the, the most I've used was about 25,000 in capital to generate this within the first 90 minutes. I mean, like on Tuesday, I think the most I used was maybe like 8,000. So just substantial returns and and really just a very, very cool way of doing intraday trading that you've you've never seen before. You know, as you can see, we're trading the most, the biggest, most liquid stocks, you you know, your Amazons, Boeing, Facebook, Netflix, Nvidia, Tesla. You know, really the top 15 big liquid stocks uh, is all we're trading. So it's super liquid. I'm, I'm super excited. This is going to literally blow you away of what this can do for you. So excited to share it with you. Just wanted to give you a little heads up that this is one of the things that we're working on. We've had a lot of, we have a lot of things coming your way. We've really just been holding off because we're trying to get this stupid membership platform rolled out and it's just taking way, I mean, it was supposed to roll out before Thanksgiving last year, if that gives you any idea. And it's just taking way too long. A lot of it is just the behind the scenes logistics of, you know, alerts delivery and a bunch of other custom development stuff that is just, I mean, it's, it's going to be great, but it's just taking way longer than expected. So that should be coming in a few weeks. And then we're going to be pushing out a ton of new stuff for you guys. So anyway, all that to just let you know of what's coming your way. It's exciting stuff. So stay tuned as we'll be announcing this stuff uh, to come. Uh, one other thing I want to mention, uh, earnings. So after the bell today, uh, we've got Costco and we've got Ulta. So those are kind of the two names. So let's go to the charts. Let's go to the platform. Starting with with Ulta, having a little bit of a down day today, earnings after the bell. So we'll see what happens there. I do not have a trade in Ulta uh, or Costco. Haven't been doing really any earnings trades this cycle. I mean, if you look at if you look at Costco, I mean, this thing here's the last earnings announcement, and this thing has just been in a violent, unchanged mode since since, since the last earnings. I mean, we've had some pretty wild swings. But it has ended up basically right where it started, right after, right around the last earnings announcement. So violently unchanged. And so we'll see what happens there. Again, I don't have any positions on here, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how Costco has been performing on the, in their full month of the corona economy. So we'll see what happens there. What a, I mean, just a wild ride in the markets. I mean, if we look at you know the S and P five hundred, uh, not a huge range, and we were talking about a high 
of 30.65 and a low of 30.28. So about a 35, 36 point, 37 point range on the day, but it, was, it looked like it was going to take off to the upside. And then just lately here, just in the last 30 minutes, we've got about 12 minutes before the market closes. Really in the last 15 minutes or so, this thing has just sailed off. If we look at a an intraday chart, let's just look at a, a five minute chart. I mean, this thing is just fallen out of bed the last 30 minutes here. I mean, you know, it rallied all the way up and now it's down about to break its lows. Like I said, we've got about 12 minutes left before the market closes. So it's been a wild ride. Same same thing yesterday, right? I mean, it just, we've had, you know, it started to sell off, look like it was just going to collapse and then just rallied all the way back up to uh, to break new highs on the day. So this market just does not know what it wants to do. If we look at the the daily chart, you know, we've been talking about kind of this this little flat, you know, grind sideways to higher that we've been seeing. And now we're, you know, looks like apparently breaking out, but definitely not with a lot of force. And now we're seeing it start to pull back. So we'll see what happens. We still have some short delta, a little bit of short bias in the market after this pretty significant rally from the bottoms. And so that's how we'll continue to play it. If we look at uh, some of the stocks, I mean, most of this was green just 30 minutes ago. And now a lot of these stocks turning red. Uh, tech is turning red. If you look at financials, financials down. I mean, let's just look at XLF, which is the uh, financials ETF. XLF. You know, I mean, again, it's kind of like the rest of the market, but it was up big and now it's down big. Or is up, is up substantially, now it's down big over, is it down? Well, it's down not even 2%, I guess. But, you know, same, same kind of thing here. It's been a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more volatile, but you know, still a very similar kind of just range, or just been kind of bouncing around for all the way, you know, since the middle of March. And so, you know, it looked like it appears to be breaking out, but now it's coming down. So the question is, will we get some follow through to the downside, or is this thing just going to continue to rip higher? I don't know when it's going to happen, if it's going to be tomorrow or next week. But I do believe that the market is going to roll over and test uh, the the March lows. So we will see. Let's see what other if there's any other major stocks moving that I wanted to mention. Like I said, just in the last 30 minutes, these things have really fallen out of bed. Yeah. So nothing. I mean, everything kind of between one and one and five percent for the most part. So. What did we do today? We did some adjustments. We rolled extended duration on some of our short delta positions, and we added a new weekly double calendar, and we took off a weekly double calendar, and so we are looking for we we're looking for a little bit of down movement into tomorrow. In fact, the one that I did take off, I wish I would have left on after the fact because we needed this little down move to help uh, benefit that trade. But you cannot trade in hindsight, so that is how it works. Hope everybody has a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.